Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community-driven trading education. Hey guys, it's James the Chart Guys. It's Wednesday, June 7th. Going to do my nightly video on gold. So gold, again, this weekly downtrend line goes all the way back to 2012. We are breaking above it. Um, it'll be interesting to see how we finish the week with two trading days left to see if we can close above it. We don't want to log upper wick here and, and have a red candle where we reject from here on the weekly. That would be a red flag for me. Um, but again, we did break to a higher high, not by much. I'd like to see a little bit more of uh, a move. Also, something to be aware of, you could see that the, uh, the bull volume on this move up is declining here on the weekly. That's something else that I'm a little bit wary of. I like to see increasing bull volume as, as we move up. And uh, this decreasing bull volume could be a signal that uh, the bulls are tiring. Something to monitor here on the weekly uh, volume here. As the daily goes, let me take this drawing out. So right now on the daily, what we have is uh, is a back test of the 4 EMA and, and it succeeded. But we have a inside candle here. And again, uh, I do like bull breaks on inside candles. We had one um, back here, inside candle high and low is within the previous ranges, high and low. Once we broke bull of it uh, and broke above that mother candle here, we had a nice move up. And we have another inside candle here uh, with a bull break being the high of 1297.60 and a bear break being the break of 1285, something to watch there as well. Uh, and if we do break 1297.60, of course, we have this 1298.80 resistance. And I do like the fact that uh, we pulled down that hourly RSI on gold before going for 1300. You can see it was, it was definitely very uh, overbought back here. We consolidated some, cooled it down, then moved higher and we're consolidating now more. And we'll see what happens here. The gold obviously needs to uh, get a TCG bull cross, get it back above the 20 MA here on the hourly. And I uh, want to take out, oops, come on, I want to take out this uh, big resistance here at 1296.90 of that big upper wick. Uh, so we'll watch gold. As far as the miners go, senior miners, the senior miners, same thing. It was completely overbought here and just some nice consolidation for now. Um, and if I were to draw a downtrend line on, on the senior miners here, we could start here, close of the candles. And you can see we closed above it uh, here. And so we'll see if we get further upside here on, on the miners after it's cooled down on the hourly and consolidated some. And uh, what we can watch for on the daily is which you can watch for on the daily is the uh, consolidation low here, the low here of 23.32, and another inside candle here on the uh, bull miners. So a bull break will be a break above 23.82, and then confirmation by breaking above the recent high here of 23.86, and a bear break would be a break below 23.32. So something to monitor with that inside candle here. Um, but I do like the fact that. Let me zoom out a little more. I do like the fact on the on the miners from the bottom here when we bounce, we consolidate here pretty much sideways in a range and we're breaking out here. Um, and I would like the this inside candle break bull for signaling further continuation. We could just range here um, and consolidate further as well. So we'll have to monitor this inside candle. What I really like about the weekly on the senior miners here is that uh, we do have this inside candle. We're breaking bull from it. Um, and Unless we, we close the week with two trading days left below 2301, that would negate the bull break of the inside weekly candle. Uh, but I am liking the fact that we're getting a TCG bull cross here on the weekly and that we're going to regain this 20 MA as long as we can close above the 20 MA here on the weekly at 2323. And another thing I like is the increase in bull volume. So you can see that we are increasing in bull volume here. GDXJ weekly, same thing. We're getting a uh, bull break of the inside candle on increased bull volume. I'm liking it for at least a back test of the 20MA weekly, which is currently at 35.56. 
Uh, the daily, something nice about the JNUG. I like the fact that we had this big bull volume here um, and decent volume today. Uh, could definitely be stronger here. And this recent high here on, on the junior miners of 34.17, we broke it by by three pennies here. Uh, it's, you could call that a double double top for now. Or you can even call it a triple top. Let me see what the high here was. 3414, 3417, uh, 3420 are the resistances here. So there is a bit of a top here that we'd like to break. Um, we don't have an inside candle on, on the junior miners because we broke above yesterday's high, but closed below it. So we'll watch that GD. I'm going to watch that GDX inside candle on the daily tomorrow and also the gold um, daily inside candle that we'll monitor. So have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.